Hi, Steve Arnold here from Photo Mastery Club and PostProcessingMastery.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you a real quick and easy uh, yet really effective way to add a nice warm glow to your sunrise and sunset images. So uh, just before I start, if you're watching this on YouTube or on the blog then there'll be a link just below the video where you can download the actions uh, that I'm going to demonstrate later in the, uh, in the tutorial. Um, so yeah, there should be a link just below this video so you can click that and go and download the actions from the website. Um, but yeah, for now let's crack on and show you the uh, demonstration. So basically uh, starting out with this image that's on screen at the moment, it was taken at sunrise. Um, there was a nice sort of warm glow in the sky and across the foreground, but for whatever reason that didn't quite come across as strong in the photo as what it did to me when I was standing there taking the shot. So what I'm going to do is just add like a nice warm glow to kind of bring that feeling, that warm morning feeling back into the shot. So the first thing that I'll do is add a, a solid color uh, adjustment layer. So just from the menu down here, just click the icon and it's right at the top, solid color. And so that's going to give me an adjustment layer where I can create, well, I can basically just fill in the whole image with a particular color. Now the uh, the color that it's picked for me is black, but I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is just change the color here using the color picker to a nice sort of golden orange color. And I'll click OK. And from here, what I need to do next is change the blend mode of this color layer to um, overlay. So let's do that. And now we can see the effect that's had on the image, obviously way overdone. Uh, this is way too strong of an effect. So all we need to do now is just reduce the opacity of this layer until it starts to kind of look a bit more natural. So let's sort of bring it down. You know, somewhere in the 15 to 30% range is probably gonna work quite nicely. Now let's leave it at 30% just for the purpose of this video. So there we go, there's the before, there's the after. Actually that's a bit strong, I'll just bring it down a bit more. Um, yeah, that, yeah, there's the before and the after. So the benefit of using a color fill layer or a solid color adjustment layer is that if you want, um, if you want to slightly adjust the color after you've added it, you can actually do that. Whereas if you just fill in a blank layer with a color from the paint bucket, you won't be able to do that as easily. Um, I mean, you will be able to change it, but when we do it using the adjustment layer, it actually shows us the effect in real time on the image. So let me just show you what I mean there. So I'll double click on the layer. And now as I move the mouse around and choose a different color and change that color, we can see the effect that it's having on the image. So I can go more to the sort of yellow end or I can go more to the red end of the spectrum. And you, know, you can see the effect it's having. So let's try and get it back to roughly where it was, or I can just click cancel. Okay, that'll do. Um, I'll click okay there and we can, we can settle on that color. Now at this stage, you might want to um, mask the effect out of a particular part of the shot. So for example, you know, this particular color layer might look good in the sky but not so good in the foreground. So in that case, what we can do is click on the layer mask over here, select the brush tool. I've got that selected already. Uh, just switch to a black foreground color and I'll just increase the brush size there. And if I want to brush this effect or reduce it slightly from these rocks, let's say, I can just do that by brushing with the black brush into the layer mask down here. And we can see the effect that's having. It's kind of removing that effect from the foreground so it's not quite as strong just helping to sort of blend it in a bit more uh, whilst keeping the effect in full strength in the sky over there so that is the kind of the fundamentals of this tip now where you can take this to the next level is uh, by using luminosity masks to um, to kind of restrict this effect to either the highlights or the shadows of an image and I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that now because I've got an action which will actually do this whole process and add a layer mask uh, for you. So let me just get rid of this and I'll show you the action. So this back to the original image now. So just open my actions panel. 
And here we've got PPM action set one. Like I said, at the top of this video, you can download this if you just click the link um, below the video. And we've got a few actions here. We've got darken highlights, warm highlights, cool highlights, and then similar with the shadows, brighten shadows, warm shadows, cool shadows. And there's a whole bunch more, you know, and you can see what each one of those does if you go and uh, download this action set. Uh, for now, we'll look at the warm highlights. So I'll just click on that and I'll run it. And just close this panel again. And what that gives us is this new, um, this new folder or this new group here. So we'll just expand that to show you what it is. And here again, you see we've got this solid color layer down in the bottom. Uh, this here is just a label, the PPM warm highlights. That's not actually doing anything. So really all this action is doing is doing what we just did in the demonstration a second ago. But as well as that, it's applying a luminosity mask so that this effect only shows through in the highlights. So um, yeah, the reason it's not having an effect at the moment is because with this action, I've configured it so that we start off with a black layer mask. And then what you can do is just use a brush, a white brush to uh, brush into the sky, for example, in the, uh, in the group layer mask. And so what that does, it brings this effect through in the sky. Um, but that is still only uh, being applied. Uh, it still follows the rules of this luminosity mask. So basically it's not gonna be, you know, even if I brush into the shadowy areas of the image, it's not gonna reveal any of this effect because this luminosity mask on the actual layer is restricting uh, how much of this color is showing through. So basically what this gives us is a, essentially, you know, if we're brushing into the mask here, what we're essentially doing is uh, creating a brush that only affects the highlights of the image and, you know, adding that warming effect. So there we go. If I just do it before and after on that, you can see, and if I brush through here in the middle, that's gonna have a little bit of an effect, but not too much because it's, um, yeah, because this is quite dark compared to the sky, so the luminosity mask restricts it, but it is allowing a little bit through. So I think in the terms of uh, this image, that's probably quite a more uh, natural result than the, uh, than the previous example. And so that's exactly why I've made these actions available for you to, uh, to download. So I think with that said, I'll wrap this video up and thanks for watching. Like I said, if you want to download those uh, actions, then just click the link below this video. Okay, cheers.